percent of his points at the rim. Absolutely, and he did not play last year. He was out with an injury as Justin Holiday shoots and leaves a three short. Pacers had their best offensive performance of the year on Tuesday here against Memphis as Williamson has it swatted off the glass by Turner. And the Good Pacers, read. Yeah. Ingram could go catch it and shoot it. And Holiday got the steal. Zone 2 3 with out front big. As Brogdon missed it off the rim. That's a good defensive play there by Holiday. Last three wins, New Orleans averaging 126. Step back three, Holiday. This time it's good. He's got to deal with Ingram giving up some size. He changes direction as good as anybody with that size, Chris. A battle all kinds of injuries, and he has been brilliant this year. 24 points, eight rebounds. Turner in the post, and he jumps it in over Billy Hernan Gomez. Uh, he, he just brings so much energy and, and, and ramps up the pace of the game, which the Pacers need with their second unit. And I'm talking about at the guard spot because they've got Aaron Holiday and McConnell. What those two young men have to do, you got to get up and defend and make it hard for people to dribble. Hart is out there. Now J.J. Redick for the first time, and Ingram goes to the free throw line. That's a foul on Justin Holiday. Um, they, they had Aaron Holiday just got too far away from him. And now Holiday tries to match. Stepped out of bounds. <laughs> yeah, you see right there, McDermott tried to turn the corner. He hit Williamson and had nowhere to go. Aaron Holiday has missed his first two threes. And now Lamb. Holiday tries for a third time and still can't get it to go. Really good find. Really good find. Pacers ball. It, it was a good find by McConnell to get the ball to the other side too. But Shaq doesn't have nearly as quick feet as uh, Zion does. That's the, what makes Zion so effective. Brogdon got the rebound and the Pacers get another look. Good help because he, he's spinning out. If he spins out, got to watch this one. Oh, he missed it. Well, because it partially got blocked by Goga. By the way, as he went low and he could feel the from behind, Brandon Ingram had it swiped away. Then they'll chase you over the screen and you got a chance to drive it. Ingram misses. Well challenged. Let's also have a turnover. They shot 58% in the first half. And now Turner is open for three. Great That's effort there. Justin Holiday out of the other corner. And now Turner is open for three. Great That's effort there. Justin Holiday out of the other corner. Pops that one. And that's why Stan Van Gundy takes the timeout. Oh. And who thinks that's good? No, oh, it's tough. Oh, okay, yeah. But listen, that's why you're in this, this yep. deal. Um, they have just bottled the Pacers up. And finally, a basket by Holiday. That one, this was running a play here. Holiday again for three. Got it. Went, okay, it worked out. But Doug McDermott was running the play when he had a shot, and it'd be good to get him going. Yeah, that's how you get the shot. I Me. Mean, oh, there's no way. I'm looking at Ernie Gomez. Was he the one pushing? Final 40 seconds. Another three try by Holiday. Short. Pacers were 4 of 17 in the first half. They're 4 of 11 in the third quarter. And that's Goga with a nice defensive play. Holiday stepping into one again. 4 of 11 in the third quarter. And that's Goga with a nice defensive play. Holiday stepping into one again. Yeah, but give his brother Aaron as much credit as anything because he forced the action. Aaron Holiday, first basket. They came over the top, and Aaron was down. The screen was low, Chris. And he's hit 14 of his last 21 from the field. Rick. 
I feel confident when I say it too. That's why I say it. <laughs> Aaron Holiday. Count three more. Averaging 10 points off the bench. Remember, I said back in the first half, he scored 37 this year at Staples Center against the Clippers. And he makes the defensive play to knock it out of Holiday's hands out of bounds. Chris, but I think it equally as important, and as part of that, this group has done a good job of getting the Pacers back in striking distance because you don't have any one of the starters on the floor. Aaron Holiday gets inside. Oh, finds what a McConnell. terrific play. He shoots Looks good. and hits a three. Third of the year for TJ. Magnified defensively and offensively. Good play, Billy Hernan Gomez, but McConnell is the recipient. Batonte on the reverse. Smart play by the big guy. Magnified defensively and offensively. Good play, Billy Hernan Gomez, but McConnell is the recipient. Batonte on the reverse. Smart play by the big guy. Like it. This is just Justin Holiday. He was patient. He just missed a shot. Maybe that's the answer. So Run him up the three point right. line. Pels and the lob for Zion. Aaron Holiday down on the block with a seven footer like Ingram. That's the risk you take. Go work on him. Oh. Pacers ball. Oh, oh. Justin Holiday for another yes. three. Great read. Holiday to McDermott. I love it. I love the scramble. I love the scramble, Chris. Everybody's driving and kicking, and I'll tell you what's interesting here. So Aaron Holiday, two of six from beyond the arc, but that is huge to make it a two-point game. It's out of five to play. And take it away by Justin Holiday. Opportunity for the lead. McDermott gives it. A chance to do some real good here. Holiday the steal. Pacers have a chance to Let tie or take the lead. McDermott. The, the Pacers have the lead. Are they a little, you know, a little oily, a little cranky? They normally run a lot of minutes. Another three? Yes, sir. Seven of them for Justin Holiday. That matches a career high. Pacers defense has, has been outstanding. When you think about you know, having given up 58 or so points in the first half. That's knocked away. Pacers have the loose ball. McConnell. Miles had come it. over to try to block Love it. it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Here's a three. Holiday. 